I just read The Host by Stephanie Meyer, and I'm giving it five stars. I loved this book. I think I'm going to start off by saying what I've heard other people said about the book. Um, this book is, well, in the my paperback version, it's over 800 pages. And I heard people say it took them half the book to get hooked. Even on a 300 page book, it shouldn't take half a book to get hooked. You should be hooked from the beginning or from page 20. I heard people say they didn't like it because they said nothing happened in it. And I've heard people say that they thought it was stupid because the aliens were not living any better than the humans. I disagree with every single one of those points. I was hooked from page 12, we'll say, pretty early on in the book. Um, the prologue in the first chapter, maybe I wasn't super interested, but I decided to continue and I'm glad I did. Um, a lot happened in the story. It just wasn't... action-packed. And I think a lot of people, the reason they were upset that nothing happened was because they were expecting it to be this alien invasion epic war story battle from between the humans and the aliens. Uh, and that's not what it was at all. The host is about aliens who go from planet to planet and take over uh, the bodies of whatever species lives on that planet so that they can live um, because they need um, they need a, a host to live and it is about the aliens that stop at Earth and basically take over the entire planet by going into people's brains and taking over their bodies. And it is about one specific alien whose host um, is still aware of what's going on and is fighting back. Now when you hear that, when you hear it's about the about the human who's fighting back, who's fighting against the alien who's taken over her brain, it sounds like it's going to be this exciting, thrilling alien versus human war story, right? It does sound like that. Um, but that's just the beginning. That's just how it starts. <laughs> it's not about a fight. It's not about the invasion. It's about the people in the fight and the people in the invasion it's about uh, friendship and love. It's about trust and loyalty. And about finding all these things in places that people would never even think to look in. It is about people surviving the war. And not only the survival of the war, but it's about the people who are surviving. It's about overcoming and dealing with what's in front of you, um, making the best of the situation that you are in, and it's about fighting for what you believe in. But, most of all, The Host is a love story. It's a love story, okay? And it's not just your typical love triangle. It is a very interesting and complicated and twisted love story. I can't even begin to explain to you why it is so twisted without giving away certain details that don't happen until halfway through the book. But we'll start off, we'll start off, <laughs> okay, it gets better, but the fact that there are two minds in one body, okay, one of the minds controls the body and the other one doesn't but is completely aware of what's going on, and they're both in love with the same man. And if you think that's twisted, it gets better. The story is really character driven and it's really emotional. It's not particularly about the fight but the people in the fight. It's a story about a community and what they'll do to protect it and the people in it. So now let's take a minute, I guess, to discuss the fact that it's written by Stephanie Meyer. Um, I feel like some people are going to be turned off right away just because she wrote Twilight, which, okay, I liked Twilight. Um, <laughs> I didn't think there was anything wrong with that series. It was obviously written for teenage girls. It was not sophisticated on purpose because it was geared towards teenage girls. So we'll get that out of the way. Um, if nobody told me this was written by Stephanie Meyer, I never would have guessed. I thought it was really well written. And it isn't all teeny bopper. Like, the people in it are in their 20s and up. Um, like, the main, uh, one of the main guys in it is 29, I think. Um, 
the things that she comes up with, like the stories from all the different planets are insane. I can't even, I don't even know how she's, how she came up with some of this stuff. I don't think you should decide or not decide to read this book just because who it's written by. You should read it because it's really good. <laughs> and because it's two minds in one body and they're both talking to each other and communicating to each other and disagreeing with each other and becoming friends and hating each other and... <sighs> It's amazing.